Naturally, for any tablet, one of the primary functions is going to be just the web browsing experience, just because with the Playbook, you have a nice, sizable 7-inch display. So we'll quickly demo it, show you the type of uh, experience you'll get out of it. So when you load up the web browser, it's going to give you the main menu here with the uh, preloaded preloaded bookmarks, and we'll just load up Yahoo. Now, we're connected to a T-Mobile 4G mobile hotspot, so it might not be as fast as a regular uh, cable line at home, but it still does a good job as far as loading up complex websites here and has a lot of support for different stuff like flash you have also uh, javascript and html5 so it gives you a really nice rich uh, web browsing experience you have double you could double tap to zoom into a specific area you could tell kinetic scrolling is pretty nice responsive for the most part here you also have multi-touch gesture support so you can zoom in zoom out to a specific area and uh, let's just quickly load up our website here and just show you how that looks Okay, so I'll load that up, and as you, you could tell already, even with the Flash content loading up here, it does a good job of maintaining a good, good kinetic scrolling rate. Doesn't seem as doesn't seem choppy at all, uh, which is something that kind of plagued the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab when we first checked it out. The seven-inch model, we just noticed that it's a little bit unresponsive, but for the most part, with the Playbook right now here, it's pretty manageable. Kinetic scrolling is pretty smooth, and we'll just wait for it to load up our site here. You have the content on top, and you have also more flash right here on the right-hand side. And it does a good job as far as doing that here. So we'll quickly uh, open up a new page here. You can do a long press, and you have different functions. You cancel, copy the link, share, save link. Um, we'll open up in a new tab. Now there's ways to uh, check out the different different tabs that are open. You could simply press the button on top here, which opens up the uh, the uh, available views here, or you could simply do the same thing by just doing the swipe gesture from the top down. So you have that, and then you could switch between all the different different windows. Now, as you can tell here, it's loading up the uh, review, and it renders stuff on the fly. And we'll just show you how the uh, 360 view here works. So click that. And it's going to load it up. It does a pretty quick job of it. Now, the other thing worth noting is that you're not going to be able to navigate on the page if you try to uh, move around where the uh, flash, flash content is stored. But if you move aside from it, you'll still be able to uh, pan or left and right, up or down with it. You can double tap to interact with the flash content fully. And as you can see here, it's uh, pretty nice. Uh, same thing, same experience that you could find on a desktop. Now you can exit out of full screen mode by just simply doing a swipe gesture from the top, and you have that here. So we'll just uh, show you the last one here, which is just the video, an embedded video, to show you how it looks uh, when you're playing it here. And doesn't open up a separate application, so um, um, it does it within the uh, web browser itself. Now it's probably going to load up at 720p, which is a pretty high resolution. So I'll just drop it down to 360. You can tell it's loading up right now. It's pretty quick. And you can still interact with the page here. Not a problem at all. And the other neat thing is that you'll be able to still navigate between different applications. So you have multitasking multi elements with it. So if you want to check out more about the web browsing functionality with the BlackBerry Playbook, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.